Alright, good morning everyone. I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, today I'm going to be tackling a question that I get asked pretty frequently, whether it be from family members, friends, acquaintances, you name it. And that question is sort of, uh, how do I level up in Linux? How do I get better at understanding how everything works? How do I get better at troubleshooting problems when they occur? How do I just become a better user in general? Um, and the answer is often not what people expect. So people usually expect me to just say, oh, just go read the wiki, go watch some YouTube videos, go install Gentoo, you know, this sort of thing. And while you might learn a lot from installing Gentoo or looking at the wiki or looking at YouTube videos, I really think that taking a more practical approach and just trying to do things at the current level that you're at, you can still learn a whole lot. Um, no matter what distribution you're running, no matter what setup you're running, as long as you have Linux installed, you can still learn quite a lot about Linux and how it works just wherever you are at the moment. So today, the concept that I really want to talk about is awareness. So when I say awareness, what I mean is uh, if you're running a Linux system, you have awareness of all of the different programs and services that combine together to form your user experience. So think about a Linux distribution. What is a distribution? Uh, it's essentially just a combination of different programs and services uh, and things like that that form a complete operating system. So different distributions will be different combinations of different pieces of software. And that's you know pretty much what differentiates them uh, by the update cycle and things like that. Uh, but if you just take what you've installed at the moment, it's just a combination of programs and services. And while different distributions are different conglomerates, like they've all got different combinations. You rarely see two distributions with the exact same combination of software. But what more advanced users sort of understand is that any piece of software on one distribution is the same if it was running on a different distribution. So while distribution X and distribution Y are different combinations of software, the software that is the same on distribution X and distribution Y usually functions pretty much identical. Um, and the configuration is identical. And often the problems are identical. So really, in my opinion, one of the number one things you can do to level up in Linux is just get an understanding of what's running on your system. What are the individual services? How can each service go wrong? What how do I troubleshoot each individual service and just understand how they all fit together and how they all should work. And that's pretty much how you, how you level up, uh, essentially. So take whatever distribution you're running now and ask yourself a couple of questions. What audio server are you running? Is it Pipewire? Is it Pulse Audio? What bootloader are you running? Is it Grub? Is it Lilo? Is it Systemd Boot? Um, what's your display manager? Is it SDDM, GDM, LightDM? What init system are you running? Probably systemd. Because the thing about Linux is Linux gives you a whole lot of choice. And it can sometimes be a bit overwhelming. Uh, if you just go ahead and look up, uh, I have problem X on Linux. You're going to get a whole bunch of different results because all of the different distributions use different pieces of software. So really what you want to be doing when you're looking to solve a problem is to get as specific as you can. And no matter what distro you're running, just by having an awareness of what's on your system and how they all fit together, it's key to understanding Linux and operating systems as a whole. So let's take this concept a bit further and apply it to actual problem solving in Linux. So let's take a hypothetical scenario. Uh, you're running Ubuntu with GNOME, just stock standard Ubuntu. All right, and you go through the little, you're booting up your computer and it's got the little splash screen with the little rotatey thing and then it just goes to a blank screen, just black. So think about three different tiers of users and how they would go about troubleshooting this particular issue. The noob user Googles Ubuntu black screen. So the noob user identifies that they're running Ubuntu and they identify that they have a black screen but that's all they're able to identify about their system. All right. What does an intermediate user do? So an intermediate user recognizes that the thing that should come right after the boot screen is your login screen. And they've taken the time to understand that 
on Ubuntu, the login screen is GDM. So they would then look up GDM black screen on boot. So they've taken it a step further and they've identified the actual piece of software that's having the issue. Um, but what does an advanced user do? So really when I talk about these three different tiers, what I'm doing is how specific is this user able to take their problem? So the advanced user, what the advanced user does, they switch to a TTY and they log in and they go system CTL status GDM. So how did we get there? Right. <laughs> how did we get from um, identifying the service to doing all these different things, running a command and uh, getting some magical output? So it's really it just comes back to awareness. So it's stringing together all of these different little pieces of knowledge. So the noob user identifies only the distribution and only the problem. The intermediate user identifies the piece of software and the distribution and the problem. But the advanced user understands that the login screen is GDM, so that's the thing with the problem, all right? They also understand that at any given moment on their system, there are a bunch of different TTYs running that GDM doesn't have any effect on. So they can go ahead and switch to one of those and log in, and they're aware that their init system or service manager is systemd, and systemd provides logs for each service. So they're then able to check the status of the service that has failed and see what it's failing on if it gives an error code and then they're able to troubleshoot from there so really it's just about stringing different pieces of knowledge about your system together to get your problem as specific as it can be so that's really the difference between um, noob and advanced users when it comes to troubleshooting and problem solving it's really just how specific can you get your issue and that's really the key in getting accurate and decent troubleshooting results when you look things up, for example, or check the wiki. Um, so you might be saying, okay, Matt, that's fantastic. That's great. How do I do that? Like, I would love to get to that sort of level where I'm able to identify which pieces of software are having my issues and, you know, how all of my stuff fits together. So I'm going to hop on over to my desktop and we're going to go through a default install of Ubuntu and I'm going to show you how I would inspect the system and sort of map it all out so that you can recreate it on your distribution and get a better understanding of how your distribution handles things and how it all fits together. So I'll see you there. All right, so I'm over here on the desktop and I've got pretty much just a stock standard Ubuntu install. And we're gonna go and analyze the system and map out what all the different services are running and figure out what they all do, at least all the interesting ones anyway. So really what it comes down to is just running HTOP as root and just having a look at all of the interesting things that are running on the system. So if you don't have it already, I'm demoing this on Ubuntu, and on Ubuntu this is how you'd be installing HTOP, but on your distribution it might be different. sudo apt install htop, pretty simple. And then you just give it a, a run as root. And this just allows us to see all of the different services that are running, even if they're running as root, um, which is what we want. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. So we've got GNOME Shell as the first thing it's highlighted. So what is GNOME Shell? Let's find out. GNOME Shell. GNOME Shell is the graphical shell of the GNOME desktop environment. So there we go. We've already identified a few things. We've identified that our desktop environment is GNOME. We've identified that our graphical shell is GNOME Shell. So there you go. It's literally this easy. Let's have a look at something else. Snapd, that's another thing that's popping up. What is, what is Snapd? Snaps are containerized software packages that are simple to create and install. So Snap is a package manager. That's what we found out. It's for installing software. It's told us right here. Let's see, what else do we have? It's interesting. Xwayland. What's Xwayland? Wayland is a communication protocol that specifies the blah, 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 blah. So now we've identified that our particular setup is running Wayland instead of X11. There you go. So we're, we're just mapping out everything that's running on this computer and how it all fits together. So our display protocol is Wayland. What else have we got here? Uh, we've got a whole bunch of systemd stuff. So what is systemd? C 
System D is a software suite, blah, 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 blah. System and service manager, an init system. So there we go. We've identified that on our distribution, our service manager and init system is system D. It's literally this easy, guys. You just go through, look for anything interesting and you can map it out. Network manager, that looks interesting. That sounds like it could be useful. Network Manager is a daemon that sits on top of libudev and provides high-level interface for configuration of network devices. So there you go. Network management done by Network Manager. There you go. Polkit D. What's Polkit D? Polkit D is for controlling system-wide privileges. There you go. We've identified Polkit D. It's literally this easy. Cups. What's cups? Modular printing system. So the printing system on Ubuntu is cups. So this is literally just how you go through and map out everything that's running on the system. Oh, there we go. GDM3. What's GDM? Uh, GDM uh, is a display manager. There you go. So our login screen is GDM as we've just identified here. And there we go. Pipewire down there. So what's Pipewire? Pipewire is a server for handling audio and video streams. So there we go. Ubuntu 2204 is running Pipewire for its audio server. It's also running Pulse Audio, which is curious. Anyway, uh, UPowerD, what's that? UPower uh, runs power management. So there we go. We found our power management daemon. So that's all you got to do. You just go through and you have a look and you identify what pieces of software are. And so that when you encounter a problem, so let's say your network doesn't work. Well, now I know that networking on Ubuntu is handled with Network Manager. So I can look more specifically at Network Manager to see what the problem is. I also know that my init system is systemd and I can use systemd tools in order to troubleshoot Network Manager. So there you go. That's, that's pretty much how you do it, man. Like you just map out all the different pieces of software that are running, what they all should be doing, and then when you encounter a problem where one is not working the way that it should, you can troubleshoot it easy as pie. <sighs> so there you go, friends. That is pretty much my take on the number one thing that you can do to level up in Linux. If you haven't already, it's just get an understanding of all the different things that are running your system, what they all do. It's super easy. It's, it's all right there for you to have a look at. And once you do that, you'll be able to get your troubleshooting much more specific than before. And really, when you're working with Linux and you're solving problems in Linux, being able to get your troubleshooting problems as specific as possible and solving them, you feel like a god. It's great. It's great. So yeah, there you go. That's my uh, hot tip on how to level up in Linux. It's just find out how they, how they all work and yeah, you're sweet. You've, you've gained knowledge. So there you go, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.